Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, since release, I've released some updates and I want to show you guys some of the new stuff that I've put in here. I want to show you the visuals. So one of the, two of the big things is I added a lot of uh, lighting effects, like you can see the sun rays. And, but one of the bigger things I wanted to go over was something called <coughs> volumetric ambient occlusion and what that does is create shadows between cracks and around edges which really gives your or uh, which gives your game a 3d uh, more of a 3d feel so I'm gonna kind of show you the differences you know toggle on and off um, it's called vow volumetric ambient occlusion and I'll toggle on and off what it does for you and so maybe if some of you are interested in this then you can use it in your own game so here we go right here you can see without it and with it it creates a shadow effect in between all the cracks so it'll really take your game from just kind of uh, good to great it'll it'll add like a triple a effect here let me show you again so volumetric ambient occlusion and uh, I got it on the Unity Asset Store. So these guys did an awesome job in in, in creating the effect. I d there's a lot of details. You'll have to go on their page and check it out. But if you're looking into getting a game, I 100% would not release a game without it. Um, and in my jungle scene, it looks pretty good. But I think even inside of a, like an indoor atmosphere, it would look even better. Um, but it really depends on where you use it. So right here you can see some of the sun rays that I created. Uh, and it looks awesome. Before there was nothing, but now it 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 takes it to kind of a triple A level. Not that, not that the whole thing's triple A because there's a lot of parts that aren't. Um, but as far as visual effects, I think that that definitely takes it a step up. I'm going to cruise around and show you some of the other things here <clears throat> that uh, show off VAL, the volumetric ambient occlusion, because I really want to show you guys kind of what I'm using to help me create ruction. So right here is, is it's just like sun rays through the trees, it looks like. I was crossing over this bridge, and I thought it was cool. Um... And there's a lot of areas I haven't showed you guys, and I think I'll get into that later. You know, there's these butterflies, by the way. So I put these butterflies in, and I wanted to create this scene of, like, millions of butterflies. You ever been to, like, South America, and there's, like, millions of butterflies flying around? Um, but it was lagging so hard, I had to take out most of it. Here's another shot with and without Val, the volumetric ambient occlusion. You can see in between the ledges, in between the cracks... It fills it in with like shadow. Here, let's do it again right here. And by the way, this is in the editor mode, so it'll be a little bit lower quality than the real game. And plus, I got the cursor moving around, which doesn't actually happen in the game. Um, so that looks awesome. Like the volumetric ambient occlusion, I used that. I'll, throw, I'll show you guys a few more things. But, but if you're looking for a cool asset to get, I think this would help you a lot. So I think I'm going to make some more videos that just kind of highlight each asset I'm using. So then you guys can go through and if you want to get it off the asset store, um, like I don't get any money from promoting these guys, uh, but they, they let me use their asset and it's awesome. Like I would never do a game without it. You can see again here. Yeah, it's awesome. So... I would definitely 100% recommend that. There's some other assets like, uh, um, I don't know, I got so many. I got like 40 or 50 assets. So I'll make a list and then I'll just kind of go through them one by one to showcase them. So then you guys will get a good idea of each one specifically so I don't make like an hour long video. And so you have to like try to find out where the cool ones are within the video. So here you go again, on and off, on and off. So it definitely is way cooler with the volumetric ambient occlusion. By the way, there's different. You can increase the shadow. You can decrease it. 
and this is just what I'm using in Ruction and it seems to make it look way better it definitely gives it more of a 3D feel um, I'm also using dialogue systems for Unity which by the way is totally awesome uh, for like uh, quest based dialogue I don't know what could be better I mean it's just extremely AAA uh, extremely powerful you can customize it to whatever so you want so like I use that that's just one of my things I use dialogue system to create all my dialogue let's see and most of this so this is what it looks like in game and that's all I got for now but I'm gonna highlight different assets each week I think or each couple weeks uh, volumetric ambient occlusion check it out link in the description link down in the description and uh, check out their page thanks